Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with propositional logic, looking at indirect proof. This is going to be our first video on indirect proof. Here, just as with conditional proof, I'm going to give an example of indirect proof using kind of words and common language and not just symbols. Let's take a look. So what I've done here is I've taken one of the problems from one of our previous videos and turned it into words about umbrellas and things being sunny. So I have either it is raining and I have my umbrella or it is sunny and I have my sandals. If I have my umbrella or it is sunny, then I don't have my sandals. Therefore, I have my umbrella. Last time it took us a long time and it was quite difficult to find that conclusion. In, with indirect proof, it's going to take us a little bit of time, but it's not going to be as difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume the opposite of the conclusion. This is going to be assumed indirect proof. Then I'm going to go through and I'm going to show that this leads to a contradiction. So, I don't have my umbrella and it's not raining. That's just premise 3 edition. I'm going to do that so that I can conclude. It is not the case that it is raining and I have my umbrella. That's for De Morgan's Law, which allows me to, with disjunctive syllogism, do 1, 5. I have my sandals and it is sunny. Therefore, it's sunny, simplifying 6. 8, I have my umbrella, or it is sunny, from premise 7 edition. I don't have my sandals, from 2, 8, modus ponens. The problem is, we can also conclude, I do have my sandals, from 6, simplification. Therefore, I both do and don't have my sandals. Therefore, the assumption that I made must be incorrect. So, I do have my umbrella, from 3 through 10, indirect proof. That was indirect proof. In the next video, we're going to take a look how to do this symbolically. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.